Gate here. If you're new, click subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you. I'm in an awesome part of Tokyo, Akihabara, where it's like the anime, kind of like glitz and glamour with the lights and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so I am going to a, a curry spot as recommended by my sister. She actually requested that I pick up a few curry packages uh, for taking home. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, do that, and also try their curry and see how it is. Stay tuned. I'm gonna decide what to get. Uh, stay tuned. They all look so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the handmade. Less rice. Uh, pork curry. Regular spice. Here. We're staying safe, staying healthy. Poco curry, recommended by my sister. Let's get it.
Nice and crispy.
and they have these sauces in a glass container. <clears throat> but we'll be right back. I'm gonna pay up and uh, decide what to do with these sauces. Be right back. Shay here, new. Click subscribe if you're returning. Appreciate you. This is a recap review of Coco Curry. So I found this to be very crispy. Uh, got a pork katsu. So I was doing some research in Japan. You would think that the most top eaten dish is ramen, uh, sushi, but it's actually pork katsu. Um, it's just a very wholesome dish. Uh, very excellent. Uh, the curry is well spiced and um, on top of that as well like the pork is nice and tender and the crispy outside breading is crispy. Uh, they like to put that katsu slice on the rice and then a little quarter of it uh, the gravy on the side so it doesn't get too too soggy. Uh, the portions are pretty massive. They have other variations. You can get like beef curry, you can get like prawn deep fried, uh, you can get like a whole uh, bigger combination. What was unique about this restaurant is it's like a diner where they have like the ordering tablet there on the table. Yeah, Japan is just like next level. I mean, like they're very efficient in terms of how they service you. Um, they just turn and burn like the cooking. Uh, they don't even opt for people just to do the pleasantries. They just have machines take the order, boom, done. Kind of thing like that. Um, and they have like a button to call the attendant as well. So all in all, uh, the ambiance, pretty solid service, top-notch food, uh, pretty solid as well. I give it a solid 9. The only drawback is I wish that I, this is me personally, I wish I got like a big combination of like prawns, beef, and pork. Um, and like a deep fried yam or something like that, but it's okay, I'll get it next time. Or maybe even a sprinkle of like some pickled veggies that would have been nice but yeah um if you like the curries you can definitely pack it to go the thing is though uh normally from before it used to be like a powder curry but now it's like a liquid so if you do pick it up just note if you fly in with the budget carrier that it might be restrictive of your carry-on or like check baggage right so just before you go make sure that your original uh, flight carrier uh, permits that you do check baggage because when I was flying Air Canada uh, they anything above like 100 milliliters in volume where you have a maximum one liter uh, you for sure need to have it in checked baggage so I knew right off the bat I had to kind of check my baggage to and I went to Korea so um, yeah if you intend on doing that you definitely need to be mindful because the curry is pretty solid but Coco Curry it's like a franchise they're sprinkled all over it's it's like McDonald's for them. It's just a very wholesome, like rice dish, chicken, pork, beef, prawns. They have the whole nine yards. It's very crispy. It's on par with like KFC crispy, so it's good. Um, yeah, can't recommend it enough. Nine. Uh, hope you're enjoying this Japan series. Take care, signing off, and catch you in the next one.